Hi everyone, it's Ashley, your Independent Sensei Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. I am still recovering from our sickness. Um, I tried doing this video and my camera randomly cut me off. So hopefully we can just get through it this time. <clears throat> but I was saying in the first video that this video is going to be kind of like a weekly home fragrance roundup with my Scentsy and my non-Scentsy combined. Um, when I used to do these combined, I tried to leave timestamps down below. So if I can remember, I will try and do that as well. Um, but once I start holding up non-Scentsy products, like if you're scrolling across, you're going to know if you are looking for that and not the Scentsy. So FYI, um, let's just get into it. I finished up a bag of cotton cleanups I'm trying to work through my cotton cleanups I feel like a broken record saying that but I'm trying to not stockpile them anymore and then I also finished up a mega um equate cotton balls so these are like the super super jumbo a size they're like three or four times the size of a regular cotton ball if you can find them get them um if you just see them passing by and you already have some buy them because they're really hard to get your hands on and then for body care items, we finished up an aloe water and cucumber hand soap. I have to say this wasn't my favorite hand soap. I feel like it wasn't super scented, um, but I am trying to get through all of the, like this style of hand soap that we have because I bought a ton when they were going, like when they were on clearance going out of stock uh, to make way for the new ones. And so now I have a ton. So I'm trying to use those up. Uh, finished up a Luna fragrance mist. I really, really enjoyed this fragrance mist. The notes are jasmine, sweet pea, berry, and sandalwood. So, um, Corey actually really liked this as well. One day he was like, wow, what are you wearing? You smell really good. And I was like, it's Luna. Uh, I do feel like this also doesn't compete with my perfume or anything in that sense because it has like the jasmine the sweet pea the sandalwood it has those more perfumey fragrances anyway so I feel like this is a good one to combine if you also want to wear perfume um, I'm thinking of potentially getting a cozy cardigan because I feel like that would be nice for the winter time let me know what you guys think if you tried cozy cardigan I've never tried it in the fragrance mist um, I'm about to open up my sandalwood tangerine fragrance mist that's on the docket to use next. Okay, for oils, I worked on Love Ya. This was from last year's uh, Valentine's Day collection. It's kind of like a lemony sugar type scent. Um, I'm probably going to put all these away when I pull out my fall winter uh, diffuser oils, which is going to be soon. And then I also worked on watermelon red berries. This is actually in the catalog currently, so you can buy this in a full size. This is just the mini size. Uh, this is just like a watermelony berry scent. I personally feel like this is more summer, so I am gonna put that away. And then I worked on wild coconut and sugarcane. This is also available right now, and it's actually one of my favorites. It's just like a sweet coconut type scent but I do feel like it is a little bit more summery, so I will probably put this away when I pull out my fall winter oils, which is going to be very soon because I'm really excited for that. I really am in the mood to switch over to fall. I already kind of have, as you'll be able to tell. <clears throat> okay, worked on some summer collection pods. So worked on cucumber and cactus water. I really, really enjoyed this in the pods. I didn't love it in the wax, but honestly, in the pods, it was amazing. Uh, we're going to have a clearance sale on Monday, August 22nd at like noon central-ish. So hop on your consultant's website about that time. I don't know if these pods specifically will make it that far. I think they might have been sold out from the summer collection before it went away. But the summer collection items will likely be in the clearance update if I'm taking a guess. So keep your eye on the clearance section. Um, if they, if I see them in there, I'll definitely get some of these pods. But um, I really, really enjoy those pods. I didn't love the wax, like I said. And then I got through Feelin' Punchy. I actually didn't love this scent, but 
we got through it. I feel like if you have a pod that you um, aren't loving, I put them in the air purifier and I feel like it just diffuses them so much more and makes them so much more tolerable. Or I have an air purifier at work and I feel like when I put scents in there, they're not as strong. Like it totally mellows them out and it just gives a really nice fragrance throughout the air. So just a little tip. Okay, <clears throat> I think the rest is wax and I have a lot going on here. So hopefully I'm gonna try and like separate bedroom and non-bedroom, but I have a lot going, like a lot that I did. Okay, this was recent. I have some um, like summer bars and then you can tell when I started to switch over and I was like, I'm not doing, I'm not doing summer anymore. I wanna go fall. I know I mixed those two. Those are all new bars. New, 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 new. Okay. So, uh, what did I do? Okay, I did this here. Okay, okay. So, I did the new Wally classified scent in the bedroom. This is really just like a green. Like, it's really, really green. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Um, it's just a little bit too green for my taste. If you like really fresh and green type scents, you probably like this. It's kind of like grassy versus like bamboo cucumber, if that makes sense, type of green. Because I know sometimes people don't like that more like bamboo cucumber like those types of green scents I know that turns some people off so then also in the bedroom I worked on some blue sage and tonka so I had some of this clam it was from last July as you can see last probably like in May or something I realized I totally love this scent and of course it was gone at that point but it's back it's really, really nice. Um, do I have the notes? I feel like I, in the beginning, was just way too hard on it. It's Midnight Sage, Black Lavender, and Tonka Bean. But it actually, like, this had sat, I mean, almost a year by the time I used it. And it just developed into, like, the nicest set. It's kind of manly, but it's also kind of sweet. It's actually really good. So I am definitely going to be picking some more of that up this year because I'm really glad it's back. Uh, I worked on some vanilla bourbon in the bedroom. So I kind of wanted something that was, like, a little bit cozy and, like, almost bakery. And so I figured this was the perfect option. So vanilla bourbon... It was available in the Father's Day collection. It's no longer available. I had this from last year, actually, from my Scentsy Club. And then I took it out. And then when it came back, I put it back in because I was like, I actually really like this scent. It's kind of just like a deeper vanilla. I feel like you get maybe a hint of that bourbon. There's like a deepness, almost like a leatheriness or something about it with the vanilla, like making it warmer. So it's really nice and I have more because I put it in my club and I have some from last year too. So last year Corey was like, mm, take it out. I don't love it, but I actually really like it. Yeah. Take it out of the club because we're going to get to some where he was like, take it out of the warmer. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> and then <clears throat> I did work on glacier water in the bedroom. I actually worked on this twice. So I thought, but I only have one bar, but I know I worked on it twice. So I don't know what the deal is, but this is the current scent of the month. It's kind of a mix between like a men's cologne, really fresh, kind of almost a little bit like cotton. It's just so unique and I actually, every time I warm it, I actually really enjoy it. So it starts off kind of like really deep and manly. And then as it goes, as it warms, every single day it keeps going. I'm like, I like this better and better. It just keeps getting better as it goes on. It's wild. 
So like I said, it's really hard to describe. It's like manly, but fresh and cozy and kind of like cottony. It's, it seems like it's really deep when you first put it in, but then in the clam right now, like with it empty, it's almost just like so fresh and light and airy. And I feel like that's what it does when it warms. It's like starts off one way and every single time I walk in the room, it's developed and it smells like something different and I enjoy it every single, like as it goes on, I enjoy it more. So currently this isn't my club, but it might be a contender because I actually really like it. Or at least I'm going to buy a few more. Maybe need to see where, where things are at first with that. And then um, while we were sick, I did pop in some Just Breathe and oh my gosh, I <laughs> should have only put in one cube because I did this whole bar and it was like so incredibly strong. I couldn't breathe, <laughs> which was kind of the exact opposite of what I was going for. So um if you have just breathed because you put it in your club, which I actually did put it in my club, just next time I'll know, like limit the amount that I'm using of this. I only need one cube because wow, it was like, I could not breathe. It was so intense. It was crazy. Okay. Let's talk about some of the summer things I did. So I worked on a strawberry rock melon bar. Are you going to turn around? <laughs> I worked on the strawberry rock melon bar. This is from the International Wax Collection. Oh, this is in my club that I lost. I almost have all of the bars back from the club that I lost. This and Pacific Sandalwood are the only two I think that I do not have. And I hope, I hope in the next Bring Back My Bar voting. Not this next one for January since we already know what's coming back. But I hope in the next one we could get a Pacific Sandalwood. Like, please, Sensi. We need Pacific Sandalwood and a Bring Back My Bar in the U.S. Please. <laughs> and Australia has it right now. Like, Region 3 gets Pacific Sandalwood, which is why we got it. Because this international wax collection. Because it's a scent of theirs. So I know you have the oils. I know you can pour it. <laughs> Give it to us. <laughs> Anyway, this is a like sweet melon scent. Strawberries, melons, it's really good. So um, this is kind of similar to Skinny Dippin, I guess in a sense. So I'm not as upset about that one as I am about Pacific Sandalwood, as you can probably tell. More stretching, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> she doesn't want to have any of it turns it right around okay and then I kind of did a funny mix this day and I did this I tucked this in my melting basket but I actually did pink cotton mixed with tinselberry so I thought that tinselberry would kind of tone down the pink cotton I didn't necessarily like I wasn't head over heels about the mix but I actually like tinselberry more than I initially thought I did. So this was actually a win and I actually ended up enjoying pink cotton in the open concept. So in the bedroom, it was just way too intense. Once it was going in the open concept, I actually enjoyed it a fair amount. I don't have this in my club and that was my last bar, I'm pretty sure, but I enjoyed it. If it comes back around, maybe I'd pick up another one. I didn't like love it as, some as, as much as some of these other ones, but it was nice. And then I did a mix of Jet Set Go and Coconut Daiquiri. These are both really light scents. I feel like I didn't get very good performance out of either of these. I feel like next time I won't do these in my open concept. Coconut Daiquiri did okay, but Jet Set Go did not do okay. I feel like I need to stick to these in my office here because they just, they are scents that need small spaces. I have both of them in my club so I can get them again and I will get them again, but they just need smaller spaces. And then I did a mix of cinnamon vanilla and salted caramel cupcake. This was good, but only when it was mixed in the same warmer. So some warmers I alternated and some I mixed in the same warmer. 
the ones where the mix was in the same warmer, it was amazing. Um, the alternative ones, it just wasn't the same. So cinnamon vanilla is almost like you're baking, but you didn't fully mix in the cinnamon and the vanilla properly. Like it's almost like they're on two opposite sides of the bowl. Like they just need to be stirred together. It's almost like it's lacking something like that. So I think honestly, what it was lacking is this because where I mixed this in the same like one cube to one cube, it was really good. Salted caramel cupcake is just like a really, really sweet salted caramel cupcake. I feel like the sweetness of this really brought to this together. But in the warmers where it was just this, I feel like it just was lacking something. So this is no longer available anyway. And neither is this, but I have this in my club. So. And then I did the famous mix of apple cherry strudel and graham cracker crunch. I did this same kind of thing. I think I did some alternating and some in the same warmer. Um, I do feel like this didn't give me great performance because apple cherry strudel in general doesn't give great performance. I feel like it, for me, I think apple cherry strudel needs a day where I can like either the air is running a lot or like there's a lot of air movement to keep the air like flowing by the warmer to move the scent around. I feel like this one, if there's no airflow, it's almost like a dead scent. Like nothing comes off of it, but it's so amazing and it's so strong, but it just doesn't last a long time. And I'm obsessed with graham cracker crunch. I like did it this day and I was like, this is so good. I need to warm it again. But I have refrained so far, but even just pulling new things into my melting basket, I was like, should I pull out a graham cracker crunch? It is available, so I feel like I could have, but I kind of want to work on some other scents. But I'm obsessed with graham cracker crunch. Like, it's, if you love bakery, buy this. And buy this. <laughs> it's really, really good. Okay, and then these are all new release bars. So, um, I worked on... I think one of the first days I was sick, I was like, okay, it's getting colder outside. I'm going to work on some crayon apple crumble because I'm feeling bad for myself because I'm sick. <laughs> crayon apple crumble is really good. I do feel like in the open concept, it's just, it struggles a little bit. Um, I could potentially like maybe if I did two bars, would it be better However, like, do I want to do two bars of it? I don't know. I'm sure I'll try it again because I'm absolutely obsessed with the scent. It's kind of also something that I could see myself maybe on one half of the open concept doing like caramel apple craze and then on the other half doing one of these because it's really good. It just smells like apple crumble. It's amazing. I just wish it would have performed stronger, but also... I wasn't feeling well, which we'll get into. So um, the next new scent I warmed was Falling Apples. It was another dreary day. I thought this would be appropriate. So this scent is kind of like, it's kind of just like apples at the apple orchard, like skin and all. It's like full on apple orchard, like full concept of the apple orchard so I actually have it open to the page right here it's crisp apple acorn and oak but it's not the acorn and oak and like apple and cinnamon sticks like that is phenomenal this is almost like the skin and the stem and like it's about to fall off the tree and you can like smell the tree and it's like you're at the apple orchard physically picking apples However, the day I did this and I started to lose my sense of smell. So I don't really recall it going in the warmers. I could, it was like very faint and it smelled nice in the house. But I was like, wow, I really expected this to be stronger. But as we will learn, I lost my sense of smell. So was it this scent or was it the fact that I was losing my scent and then also same with Grand Apple Crumble. Like, was it really not that strong or was I in the process of already losing my scent? Don't know. 
This one I would buy again though, the Cranapple Crumble. The Falling Apples I'm not like addicted to, so if I didn't get it again, I wouldn't be that upset. And then, <clears throat> so the next day, I like fully realized I had lost my scent. And so I put in Huckleberry Hideaway. This scent, Fresh Pick Huckleberry Mountain Violet Crisp White Woods. This is like a floral trying to be fall scent. Like this scent is not good in my opinion. I don't really like it, but I thought I would just test it in the open concept. And then after putting it in, I realized I couldn't smell. So I put it in anyway. Um, like it had already gone in and I was like, well, I'm gonna leave the warmers on now. At lunchtime, we were cooking up lunch and Corey was like, you have to take that out. It's making me nauseous. So we took this out, which I totally agree. I just, if you like florals, you'll probably like this. However, the way it's mixed, and I think it's maybe the violet because I don't love violet to begin with. The way it's mixed with the huckleberry is just not doing that for me. So we took that one out. And then we also did Perfect Day. So this one is probably in the fruity section. Um, this one is Autumn Pear Spiced Syrup and Bourbon. So this day I still couldn't smell a ton. However, I left it, I let it go for like a day or two, I think. The day I took this out, I just didn't again refill the warmers because I was like, I'm not doing it. I can't smell anything. Like, I don't care. So I left this in for a couple days. And then when I went to take it out, I could smell it a little bit. Or if I like hovered over the warmer, I couldn't smell it in the air, but I could smell it like hovering over the warmer. And it was kind of just like a spiced fruit scent. Really generic, but also, like I said, I couldn't really smell. So hard to say, um, hard to say how much it like really fragranced or through or anything like that. I, I will say I didn't mind it, but also I don't think I could fully grasp what it smelled like, but I definitely didn't mind it as much in the open concept on warm and not being able to smell versus just like on cold sniff or when I did it here just in my office. And then black currant and plum. This is dark plum, wild black currant and apple. This one, this I put in and I was like starting to kind of get my scent back. So like it's not fully back, but it's close today. So this one, it's kind of similar to Huckleberry Hideaway. It's not as gross, like it's better but it's still like a fruity kind of floral and trying to be spicy fall. It's just like not my scent profile. So I actually think I much prefer Blackberry Spice, which I haven't warmed yet. I have that in my pile to do, but I think that one is just way more up my scent profile. It's mostly spice and the fruit takes the back seat. Whereas these are like fruity florals trying to be spicy fall scents. And so I just wasn't vibing with them. So. Okay, this is the transition from my Scentsy to my non Scentsy. So I just have a few things in here to talk about. Um, starting off, I just have one wax melt I finished, which is Dutch Apple Cookie Land. This is really good. I felt like this was definitely losing its gusto. Um, it's from April of 2021, and I feel like it was very lackluster. So I have a couple more bags of it. I'm kind of in this like contemplation with myself whether I'm so I'm so so close to being done with all my vendor wax I'm just in this contemplation though of whether I like just sell everything that I have left or do I finish working on it so I have a lot of it listed and I have a link down below where you can buy things for my waxy stash they're just things that I'm like I know I'm not gonna get to so I'm not even gonna try so check it out if you want. But I do have things like Dutch Apple Cookie Land, Carbs and Cookie Land, like scents I know I love and I want to get to and I want to get through, but I'm just in this contemplation where I'm like, do I say heck with it and list them all? 
or do I like continue because I'm making progress like I'm getting through them I can see the physical dent I can see I'm so close I would hope to be done like in a few months but part of me is also like am I over it like am I done trying so I, it's a daily like I don't know the answer. <laughs> um, and then I did put in a wallflower of vanilla coconut and then I put it in right before it's like about to be fall weather because literally like the day before it was, it's it happens so hot here, like super humid every day. And now it's just like a cool breeze, even if it's 85, like it's definitely fall weather. So I have no fall wallflower so I actually went on and ordered some in the wallflower sale and then I do have a Bath and Body Works haul to share with you. I'm just waiting for those wallflowers so I can wrap it all together. So but we got through some candles in the candle clock while I have six. So the day I was losing my son, I actually put in pumpkin apple. So this is the one that has like the dirty lid. Um, so I actually scraped, this had a little wax on it. I scraped it off and it didn't affect the candle clock, which is great. Um, but pumpkin apple, my beloved. I don't think I have another one of these. And at first it was like, it's fine. I have so much to get through. And now I'm kind of bummed I don't have another one once it was like going. So Red Delicious Apple, Fall Pumpkin, Fresh Ground Cinnamon, Clove Buds. I love this scent. Um, this had a ton of wax like on the side built up. And so you can tell probably how nubby the wicks are because that's how much like wax was pulled on the side. So it didn't look like this when I was actually lighting it. It went in the candle clock and that's why it looks like this. So obviously don't relight this because this one, it probably wouldn't relight and two, that wick is gonna start the house on fire because it's way too close to the edge here. So the day I did this, I could tell that I was starting to lose my scent because it was the same day as the falling apples wax. I put it in and I was just like, oh, it's kind of, it kind of smells in here just like lightly spiced apples. Like that's all I was getting. And I bet it smelled so freaking amazing the whole time it was going, but I just, that's all I could smell on the first day. And then I got no more, like I, my scent was gone. So, um, it was really weird experiencing that because just like absolutely nothing smelled and I could like taste my food and things like that, but I couldn't smell anything. It was very, very interesting. <laughs> it was a weird experience. Um, so now I'm kind of bummed, like, do I get another one of these? But I feel like it'll be available all fall long and I need to work through some candles, but I finished up three, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I also got through watermelon lemonade. I put this in the crock because once it was starting to get this fall weather, I was like, I'm just putting these in the crock because I need to end up getting through them. So same with that. And then same with pink apple punch. This one was doing a fine burning, <laughs> not anymore with its funny wicks. Um, this one was doing fine burning, but it to the point where it was at, I was like, do I keep a half lit candle like in case we move or anything I don't want to keep this I would rather just put it in the crock and then repurchase them if I want to and I didn't like on cold I love this scent but I just didn't love it while it was burning I think it was something about the burn like released something funny or when the wax was on warm it just wasn't the same so watermelon lemonade though I actually really liked so I probably will repurchase this in the future um, this one was over halfway. It was just like the wicks were definitely hot burners and I was just trying to get through it because these are both from 2021. So I didn't really want to carry them over another year. Um, the only summer candle I have left that I am currently working on in like my project is Island Daydream. And so I just have that one out to work on kind of over this next week. I think it's supposed to be a little bit nicer, um, kind of like mid eighties. And so once I like work on that over the next week, that one will either probably go in the crock if it's not done just to finish it up. And then I'll have strictly fall candles to work on. So I will 
hopefully be back next week for you guys with a weekly home fragrance roundup. Let me know what you guys have been working on. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.